Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's Adobe XD tutorial, we're going to create this awesome, colorful app dashboard. So I hope you guys are ready for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I have my artboard at 414 wide by 896. I also got some guides at 25 from each side of the artboard and one from the top at 40. To set up the navigation, we're just going to use two icons and a heading. First with a 24 point square in the top left corner and one in the top right. Just slightly below that, we'll add a heading. For the font, let's go with HK Grotesque. 26 is going to be our heading size and bold for the weight. Line that to the left and we'll drop that 55 points below our icon placeholders. My heading is going to be a nice welcome for this dashboard. For the dashboard, we're going to have a grid layout. On the left hand side, we're going to create some squares and rectangles and we'll set them to 182 wide for that column, holding Alt to drag out a duplicate. We'll put 15 spacing in between them, so this one will naturally be 167 wide. So I've set up this nice organic grid. I got 15 points in between each of these cards. And at the bottom here, I've lined them up together. So I'm gonna select all of these and put them 20 points below the heading, which will put that at 136 from the bottom of the artboard. I want a decent size gap here because we're gonna have some color down here. Just dropped in two box icons here, centering those inside of each of their placeholders. And as always, I like to remove the border and lower the opacity on that rectangle in the background and then group them together. So we have spacing around the icon. And I'll just repeat that for the other one. Now that we have all the elements in line, I'm just going to turn off the guides. That was command semicolon. Selecting all of the cards, let's remove the border and add a drop shadow. For the drop shadow, I'm changing this to a nice like black, purple, bluish color. Color code is 271B46, and we'll drag that opacity down to 8%, so it's nice and subtle. I've got the Y at 7 and the blur value at 30. With all these selected, let's go ahead and set the border radius to 32 as well. So we have these nice cards. So to create the content for the cards, we're going to need two text sizes. One is the heading for the card, which I've just dropped that down to 22 points, and everything else is the same from this larger heading. Next is the paragraph text, which I've dropped all the way down to 12. This is kind of like a secondary paragraph text, so it needs to be quite small, and it's down to a medium weight. Let's start with this one in the top right corner. I'm gonna grab the circle tool, hold shift, and drag one out. We'll set that to 40 by 40, and center that horizontally with the card. I'm gonna place that heading template about seven points below it, and I've called it web design and made it two lines. And with that, we'll center that into the card vertically. And with that centered vertically, I'm gonna drop it down just a few points. So we have 46 from the top and 35 for the bottom. So it's just slightly asymmetrical. I'm gonna select that holding shift, hold alt, and drag down. I'm gonna change the text to a one line, and this is for stats. Grabbing both of those, center them vertically, and drop it down a few points. So this one's at 46 by 36. So it's just slightly asymmetrical like this one up here. For this card here in the middle, we're gonna grab a heading. This is gonna be the daily goal for the user logged in. I'm gonna put that 51 for the top for now. And then we're gonna grab that secondary text and place it right below it. And it needs to be four points below it. I also don't know if I mentioned this is at 80% opacity just to give it a bit of contrast from the text above it. For this one, we're gonna do something a bit unique. We're gonna grab this heading and drop it down to 18 points. And we'll put this at 75%. And below that, we're gonna have a progress bar showing the XP value on the daily goal. So let's grab a rectangle and we'll drag one out. We've got 20 spacing on each side, which makes that 127 wide. For the height, we'll drop it down to nine. I'm gonna remove the border. Give it a fill for now. And then we'll round the border radius to a thousand, just to give us a nice round cap like that. I'm gonna place this 45 from the bottom of the card and the text four above it. Command C, Command V to create a duplicate. And we'll drag that in and make it a different color. And we'll put that at about 75% of that bar so we can see our progress. So that is our daily goal card. So this would be our course that we're currently taking. This will be our stats, our daily goal. Over here, we're gonna have some profile information. So let's grab this text and copy it. Center it horizontally in the card. And we'll put that 45 from the bottom of the card. 
And above it, we're going to have a larger profile icon since this needs to stand out. I've set mine to 66 points by 66 and we'll make the gap quite a bit larger in between that and the heading to 20 points. Lastly, this big long card is gonna be the courses enrolled by the person in this dashboard. So I'm gonna grab one of the headings and one of the icons above it, hold Alt and drag out a copy and center that horizontally into that card. And for this one, we'll just drag down to about 46 points from the top there. We'll grab our secondary text, drop this 18 points below our heading just to get some good space. And then I'm gonna repeat grid on this and drag down a little bit. And we'll put 12 points in between each of them and we'll do six of those. Command Shift G to ungroup that. I'm just gonna drag that over to the side a little bit. Make sure they're all lined to the left and then I'm gonna change the text values. I'm just gonna grab one more icon from box icons. Just a circled check mark and we'll leave that at 20 by 20. Gonna center that up with one of the courses. And we'll put this 26 points from the right hand side of the card. And for the rest of the text, we'll put those 26 points from the left side of the card. And we'll have just a few of these completed. So we'll put the check mark next to them. And maybe we'll darken these for now, just to remind us to change the color on those later. And that should be all of these cards completed with their basic content. Few more icons here from box icons. So let's drag those into their placeholder circles. So we're just gonna put those in individually and size them according to what they look like inside of those circles. So some will need to be bigger, such as the crown, since this is a larger profile icon. So we'll scale that one up just a bit there. And then for the layout, we'll drag that one into web design and make sure that's centered. And we're gonna scale that one down just a bit. So I'm like 14. And for enroll, we'll drag that book in. And just see what each of those looks like. Those look pretty good. I think it would also be cool to add a bookmark icon here onto the current course we're taking just to make it stand out a little bit. So I'm just gonna find where that border radius kind of ends there. And I'm just gonna stick this out a point or two from the top there just to give it a nice little bookmark in the corner. So let's add some color to our design. So first we're gonna need a black color of some kind for the icons and the heading. So I'm just gonna select those, grab the fill 0D054B. So I just went slightly into the blue there a bit and that will be a good color. So it's not, it's not black exactly, but it looks black. So it'll blend nicely with the rest of the colors we're gonna add. So our first color is going to be in the backs of most of these profile icons. So I'm gonna select all three of them. I'm gonna remove the border and then we'll fill this with a purple. So color code on that one is 8779F2. And just for a bit of detail on these, let's grab this other profile icon as well and add a drop shadow. And we're gonna go with something similar to what we had on the other one, a nice blue blackish purple drop color there, drag that down to about 8% opacity. And then let's increase the size of that to 730, just like we did, so it stands out a little bit. And so we have those nice drop shadows. Selecting each of the icons, we're gonna convert them to white since we now have a darker color behind them. So we'll just drag that on over. And for this profile icon in the top left, we'll remove the border and we'll leave that at white for now. For the bookmark, I'm gonna have that as red. Color code is FF7893. For the crown, I'll add that as a yellow, just so it stands out. F6E952 for that yellow color code. And we need one more color for things like this bar and these colored completed courses. So I'm gonna select the bar for now and we'll fill that with a nice blue cyan color. 73C8ED is the color code on that one. Add all those to our assets panel and fill out the check marks and the courses that are completed. For all the secondary elements like these and these other courses and even this bar behind that blue one, we're gonna set those to AAA 
AAA, which is a nice light gray. And for this bar, we'll drop this down to around 15% opacity. And lastly, let's tweak the background color just slightly to FFFFFD. So instead of all six Fs, it's just a D on the end there. So it's just slightly yellow. And if you want, you can change the rest of these white icons to that as well. Let's actually see what that looks like. That was pretty good, so we'll leave that. Now to really make this design pop, we're gonna add some color in the background and I wanna add some color to this card. So I'm gonna first do that to the card. So I'm gonna hold Alt and click and drag this into the pasteboard. I'm gonna set this to our purple color and I'm gonna grab the pen tool. And here I'm just gonna add a series of stripes, something like that, and we'll bump them up to uh, maybe five on the border. And then I'm going to fill them as that purple color and then just drag just slightly down like that so we can just barely see it. And I'm gonna go in with the pen tool and just continue to add some shape to the background of this card just to make it look nice. Selecting the first one, right click, we can copy. And then selecting both of the new ones, right click and paste appearance just like that, and I'll fill out the rest of this card with those lines. So I've got some pretty crazy lines here, so I'm just gonna copy this rectangle in the background, delete it, and then paste it on top. Select everything just by clicking and dragging, and Command-Shift-M will mask that with shape. And then if I hit Command-V, it will paste in the original, and then I could send that to the back, so Command-Shift-Left-Square-Bracket key. And then we have these two elements, so we'll just group them together with Command-G. So we have this nice detailed card. So I'm just gonna drag that in and place it on top of the original. Command shift, left square bracket key to send it to the back. And then we'll delete the white one on top of it and adjust our text colors to white. The next thing I'm gonna do is create an entire artboard that's exactly the same size. I'm gonna fill it with that off-white color and I'm gonna create some shapes over here in the bottom to fill out this empty space. So again, we can grab the pen tool and just create some triangle shapes I think will look good for this. So I'm just gonna grab some of those. All right, so now that we have all of those, I'm gonna select them, remove the border and add a fill color. And then we'll go through each of them and add different colors that we've used throughout our design. And then let's send this one to the back. And same thing with this yellow one. And then this one needs to go behind the purple one. But I need to adjust that so it doesn't show the blue one. So we'll just do that. So I'm going to grab all these and just slide these over to our actual artboard. And now we can delete this placeholder one. And Command Shift, left square bracket key to send them to the back. And then we can adjust them. Now a cool trick to blend these colors with the artboard just a little bit more. I'm going to drag a rectangle over top of them. I'm gonna fill it with the background color and I'm gonna lower the opacity on this until the colors kind of blend in a little bit more with the background. So right now, that's at 0% opacity. They're kind of bright and we don't want them too bright like that. So I'm just gonna drag up that opacity until they blend in maybe 15% opacity there. So we'll send that all the way to the back and then bring it in front of our shapes. And then we need to change all of the headings to our black color that we're using. And so with that, our design is now finished. I hope you guys enjoyed creating this nice, clean and colorful app dashboard for an online learning platform. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more design related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.